Um, what's up, guys? It's Mike Racine. All right, really quick, I just want to say, if you don't mind, my Patreon numbers are a little down. And I'm, I'm, I know it takes a big man to admit something like that, that my numbers are down. But winter is upon us. The moving and junk jobs are slowing down a little bit. I'm not saying I'm in a, like a, you know, I'm not saying I'm like hurting for money or anything. I'm just saying it would be nice to get a few new Patreon subscribers. Uh, and what do you get for your money? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not some fucking, uh, I'm not some smelly homeless person asking you for money. I'm actually, I'm actually offering you something for your money. And for $5 a month, you get a show, a 20 minute show on Patreon every single day. So if you don't mind, um, head over to patreon.com slash sit down pod and pledge five bucks. Also, uh, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of moving and junk removal, I don't have any shame. I got an e- uh, email for the company, the moving company. It's truckboysmoving at gmail.com. Okay? So why don't you, if you need anything moved or if you need some, uh, if you need some uh, junk removal in the New York City area or if, uh, I don't know, you need a TV mounted or some, uh, what else do I do? Yeah, that's about it. Moving, junk removal. TV mounting, shelf mounting, custom shelves, closets. Um, shoot me an email, truckboysmoving at gmail.com. I would be happy to provide you with uh, some great uh, service. I don't need ads, baby, because I'm my own, uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm uh, Lori from Shark Tank. I got nice legs and big tits, and uh, I'm my own boss. Let's start the show. Hello, everybody. If I think of something, I might let it fly. Yeah, yeah, if you could. Just, uh, if you're feeling it, (laughs) just uh, shoot shoot it out there. Yeah, yeah. I I, I might just jump on the skin, Daddy. (laughs) I'm going to put it on wax, Daddy, might. Well, sometimes you you sit down to podcast and you're like, I have to talk about this mustache. We're not going to talk about this goddamn cookie duster. My mustache? That's a thick ass stash. I just shaved it. Yeah, I love it, but it it is. it, it's a great. Stash. Wait, are we? Have stash. we started? Are we? Is, I don't want to. Like, I want to get yeah. into it because we can. We can do all this on the. Why don't you guys? We. Yeah, I did start right. recording, but why don't you just? Yeah, just both of you can roast my mustache. We'll start uh, off. I don't want to roast it. Yeah. But you, you are just showing up with it like it's not a new thing. Like that's. My, like, yeah. If I well, stopped wearing denim all the time and you guys were like, whatever happened to that? I'd be like, well, you know, I would explain it to you at least. Yeah. What are you, Daniel Gay for pay Lewis? I'm having a, I'm having a I kid for you. <laughs> I have a baby due in April, so I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to die of a heart attack. So I'm hoping that I look the part. <laughs> I'm trying to die of a heart attack before he's born so that he'll just hear a bunch of great stories about me and none of the bad stuff. <laughs> You know, anyway, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? What? You think All someone right. would tell my son a, 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 a negative story about me? They're like, hey, somebody <laughs> pulls him aside and they're like, let me tell you a little something about your father. <laughs> a boy's got to know the truth about his yeah. father. I mean, people yeah. did that to me. Yeah, after my yeah, dad well, died, I think it's, so, you know, did they? Yeah. Yeah. But how old were you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. People did that. I was 24. Uh huh. People do that to me when my dad was still around. They did. Oh, yeah. Boy. yeah. Um. I guess that's a good. That's kind of a. I don't know. It be it, yeah. But wh- when would you tell your kid if there if there was something if you if you were dead? Because it's it's going to be weird. You're, there's going to be dead dads in the future, but there's also going to be social media, and podcast. Every podcast you were ever on. So it's like. Just imagine like a lifetime movie where you die, but then your son is discovering you um, through your through all your podcast experiences. Dude, I think about that shit all the time, but mostly I think about it in that I'm grateful my father died before social media. Yeah, because he seems like the type of guy who, if I happened to, if I looked at like an Instagram like models picture. 
there uh, would be a comment from him that's like all flames and hundreds and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just glad I don't have to see that. <laughs> He's simping. <laughs> he thought he was on Snapchat and that those comments would just go away. <laughs> you just search your dad's handle. Yeah, I don't know what happens to social media. I mean, also the other weird thing, this isn't like a funny thought, but it's also funny to think about like, you know, when you see someone who died in like the, the 80s or the 70s, you look at pictures of them and it, those pictures look very much like from the past. But now there's this archive of people like it's not really going to look when my son is watching my YouTube, my roast battles, my Comedy Central roast battles after I've died. Your greatest the legacy. video quality is going to be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. not going to be all great. Although maybe maybe the definition will be so good when he's like 20 or 18 or something like that, yeah. that it will look like how we watched it in the eighties. Oh, it'll look terrible. Cause it's not 3d. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me introduce our guest today. Uh, first we have, well, we're doing this guest uh, co-host thing. So we have, this is Tom's last episode after this. This we, is um, crazy. You say goodbye. By. I feel bad. Cause, uh, I was now I don't have my other podcast. I went from having three to one now. I'm, I'm losing mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy how life just can do that. <laughs> it just comes right at you. One day you're on top of the world with three podcasts, and then and then you only have that one. It's with Tommy one. McNamara. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> but I'm, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, at the bottom of my uh, my last. Uh, my last dollar, you know. I, yeah, That's I was on. I was riding high <laughs> with three podcasts. <laughs> I was making sixty dollars every two weeks. <laughs> Let me tell you, I almost had it all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had three. Me undies couldn't get enough of me. <laughs> they were really all about it. What is the most? What is the most embarrassing podcast uh, sponsorship? Oh man, what there do you was have? one. I don't have any, I don't oh, I do God. Patreon. I'm listener yeah, none funded. Yeah, is probably the most embarrassing. But think, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably true. There was one, I don't know if you guys ever were uh, fans of this podcast, but I used to listen to the Monday morning podcast that Bill Burr did. I used to listen to it religiously. And yeah. there was an ad he read for Sherry's Berries. No, oh, it's yeah, like yeah. the funniest thing in the world. And I remember listening to it and being like, this is, how is this an ad? Like, there's no <laughs> way he's going to keep getting to do this. And he was making fun of it as, as he did the copy, but it was just, it's so embarrassing of copy. But yeah, that's I, probably I got, up like, there. The typical Bill Burr fan listening to like a Sherry's yeah. Berries hat. Like, I yeah. imagine like so many of his fans are guys that are just like him. I send my Sherry's berry to mother's day. like it doesn't it, like like that's a yeah. good gift to them. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's it was very funny, very it was great. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, me undies is probably up there. Uh, mm-hmm. There's some like I yeah I don't know I don't know. That's probably I I don't remember any that are worse than that. Well, Although me undies is good. Yeah, well, you can name your underwear company anything. You can name it Me Undies, or you can name it Mac Weldon. Like, uh, like I don't know. I guess that's somebody's grandfather or something. <laughs> but um, let me introduce our guest. You guys might know him from the segment that we did a couple podcasts ago, <laughs> where we did, <laughs> where we did Evil Shane Torres. <laughs> yeah. So basically, what you guys might know. <laughs> yeah. I, I wanted to have that you that's on last what week. The premise of this was. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It was after you gave me my gas before. It was after you gave me that concussion. So I I was really going in on you. And um, well, we were. I didn't hear what you were saying to me down on the post when we were going at it. Is that right? A terrible. I got nothing. Yeah, that's right. What were we even saying? Is that what's going on here? I was still concussed. Yeah, Yeah. you keep you're lagging up a little bit. So that's (laughs) it's not that we're. 
That is the problem. This is evil uh, Shantor as he's trying to sabotage the show with his bad internet connection. (laughs) That's true. The most evil people of all are the poor who uh, have bad internet. (laughs) (laughs) Who have optimum. Uh, uh, I'm poor. Shane's at the public library. (laughs) Look at all my luggage. Look at all my story. Shane, I – hey – I used to be a fat cat too, and now I'm just like you. I only have one podcast, so yeah. I feel you, brother. Shane's at the public have library. Podcast. I have to guest. He's at the public <laughs> library right now, just uh, just being a gracious guest. <laughs> no historicals down the way. Yeah, there's some field trip of like underprivileged kids trying to learn, and he's just uh. He's talking about underwear. Anyway, you might know him from the segment that we did a couple episodes ago called uh, Evil Shane Torres, where we did a character where it was where it was Shane, but he was evil. I forget exactly what we said. I think it was like I Shane. I think it was mostly sex oh. and stuff. Yeah, it was like Shane fucking your wife, and he's like, sorry, buddy. Um, <laughs> so that was fun. But now we have – and you also might know him hey, from – Hey, real quick, you fucking dickheads. <laughs> How are you going to do a, a segment called Evil Shane, not uh-huh. tell me about it, and then kind of make fun of me when it's so unpopular I didn't even get tagged on any social media about Here's it. I don't even thing, know about Shane, it. I would have told you about well, it, but I had a fucking concussion, and I forgot concussion. we even did it, all right? And that was your fault. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> my head probably my was responsibility. It was my something. fault. <laughs> I, was scr- I was so sorry about that. And you know it, but it yeah. doesn't doesn't matter, huh? My <laughs> listeners don't have social bitch. media because they're they're busy okay. working in a mine. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> one guy hurt too much. Somebody yet. did only only one. I think only one or two people have reached out to me about this podcast from this last uh, this last group. But oh, it, it was very I'm nice. Sorry. Yeah. No, no. It was they were they were very nice about it. But it was uh, about the Hassan Minaj shit that I knew I would get. <laughs> something for but it was a uh, it was it was a, a nice little joke mm. i mean i i went in on set i was pissed off last week and i uh i went off on that Hassan minaj clip uh that everybody was sharing but oh yeah he went just scorched the sort of earth. shit i do he went scorched earth on Hassan minaj <laughs> 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 i believe he said that um i don't even want to repeat what he said i, I honestly yeah it was fucked up Anyway, so you might know Shane from the segment that we did, or you might know him from his uh, his viral um, Guy Fieri bit. I'm sure you're, you're probably tired of hearing people talk about that bit, Shane, but... But do please. it. But please do it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it? Can you do like 10 consecutive yeah. minutes? Can do you it over just and do over it? Again? We really need this show to pop off. It's my last week on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, no. Can, Can anybody please why I just fucked Gaffieri's wife? That's his bit. <laughs> <laughs> Can anybody tell me why I fucked Gaffieri's wife in his son's bedroom and I don't even feel bad about it? You know, it's kind of fun. All right, but anyway. A lot of bagels cost the same as donuts when you glaze your penis when you fuck a donut. <laughs> <laughs> it feels better to fuck the donut. And they cost the I'm same. So, I'm Speaking so of- happy I carved time out of my evening <laughs> for this. It's not even evil to have sex with a donut, I guess. Speaking <laughs> of everything, that's what I took from Shut Gaffieri up. when it's I awful. fucked his wife and destroyed his family. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can, if you like, if you like, if you like good quality stand-up comedy, go to YouTube.com right now and look up that. Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Go to YouTube.com. That's right. <laughs> Look, we're all losing our minds fucking... over here, okay? Um, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's funny, though. Uh, the, one thing I will, the one thing I will say about that bit. All right, Shane, we'll let you. You can, you can, you can do anything you want. We'll give you your own segment in a couple Go. minutes. The thing I want to say about that bit is that you hear all this stuff. You hear all this stuff about the, what what a comedian is supposed to be in society, and a comedian is supposed to sort of go against popular, you know, popular thought. I hate where this is going already. I feel but, like this is bad. No, but I'm saying like, I feel go that's ahead. to me that's the that's the best example of someone being going against the grain of of uh, of conventional wisdom. 
to me, that Guy Fieri oh. bit is the best example because you're, you really are, because it's such a pervasive attitude that people go, Guy Fieri sucks. But then you're like, Guy Fieri's good, you know? And that's why. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm actually being sincere. I can tell I you that you are actually like, being sincere. I know, it just I know, but I, very I was just waiting for you to be like, man, that bit. The way people say go against something, and then you fuck someone's wife. I thought you were just going to go back <laughs> oh, okay. into the bad shade. Thing. Well, you're so too. You're why, always two steps yeah, ahead of me. Like that's why I had the gloves up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, that's always, why I had my gloves up, but I do appreciate that, Mike. Thank you're you. always two steps ahead and you know what it's yeah. like that really is kind of like lenny bruce that that is to me the equivalent of being like of lenny bruce being like now why can't i have gay sex man now dig uh you know or whatever <laughs> whatever it was that he did sure. whatever it was that he did that was so fucking important yeah, i guess he was so fucking funny <laughs> he was so fucking funny <laughs> uh yeah so fucking funny he ended up in mazel and yet i can't get in there huh Oh, who played yeah, him comic in Comic who's bitter and jealous. Uh, <laughs> comic who's bitter about Lenny Bruce booking <laughs> Mrs. Basil. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck does he get that? They don't even realize it's not really him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, who plays him in Maisel? I actually don't know. I, I only uh, watched a couple episodes of that show. It, it, yeah. It's what, hard what, for me to watch a say? show that's about yeah. a fake stand-up comedian. You know? Which is why yeah. I couldn't watch Crashing. Get him. Fuck you, yeah, Pete exactly. Holmes. Jake well, all that and because he, he eats him. pussy. He eats we pussy way him. too much in that show. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been called <laughs> Crushing Pussy. In parentheses. <laughs> Could you imagine if they gave like Tom Takar a, 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 a sitcom and they were like, so what's your show about? And he was like, well, all right, I gonna, I'm going to eat pussy in every episode. And then I guess we'll figure out the rest <laughs> of the... Uh, <laughs> We'll figure out the rest of the show. But I know how you guys are into diversity. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, girl power. So, I'm going to into diversity. So, every, so every week, I'm going to eat a different handicapped woman's pussy. Some kind of. <laughs> All right. That's anyway. Gross. Shane, Shane, what's going on in your. <laughs> Shane, I heard you got some thoughts on Guy Fieri. <laughs> Shane, I heard Guy Fieri is actually like uh, he's, a lot of people say he's bad. You think he's good? Go ahead. <laughs> Thirty seconds on the clock. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Why am I even here? <laughs> What's that guy's name? Byron. Uh, oh, damn it! I can't remember now. Byron Shane, Allen, this, the guy who does that. Why are you here? This is revenge for fucking my wife, Shane. <laughs> That's right. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't evil Shane Torres. That was Shane Torres. That was regular Shane Torres. <laughs> regular Shane Torres. <laughs> Although, if Deb cheated on me, and I, you know, because it's like when you get cheated on, your first question is, oh my, like, who was it with? And if she said Shane Torres, I'd, I'd go, oh, uh, okay, all right. I don't think it would hurt as, I don't think it would hurt as much. Because I know he would, t- I know he would he'd take care worse. of her. It would hurt worse. I think it would hurt worse. Why yeah, is that? Like, he's my friend. Oh and yeah. And also, yeah. And also Shane. Yeah, like mm-hmm. I don't like think I'm the worst guy in the world, but I don't think it'd feel good to lose out on a woman to me. What are yeah, you well, talking about? You're a good guy. And you're well, a handsome I, little. He's fuck a good who guy. Smashes all the That's time. The- I know that. <laughs> Um, uh, all right, I'll just yeah. do the fear. Are you, da- are you, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> he just sadly <laughs> resigned to doing it. Yeah, so what's everybody? Shane, I heard you got some, I- some ideas on everything please bagels. Tell me. <laughs> Shane, I heard you like Cinnabon. Shane, I- <laughs> people really hate that joke. <laughs> what joke? What are you talking about? The everything bagel joke. Hmm. I just don't like onions. That's my only problem with the bit. I I would hate. I don't think. I think everything <laughs> bagel should be free because they're disgusting. I hate <laughs> I'll tell you what's funny about the everything bagel is, at everything bagel you think it'd be poppy seed, sesame seed, garlic, and onion. Sometimes they put salt on it, which I don't like when there's salt on it because it's not necessary. If salt bagels are for freaks, I don't think you there you need them. But then sometimes an everything bagel will have just oats attached to it, and it's like guys, we didn't. It's not everything. Mm-hmm. You know? That's like that's crazy. It's crazy. 
Yeah. It'll just Actually. have a fucking oat stapled to it. <laughs> this is the problem I have with also, everything. Is it's a, not everything, and it's not it's yeah. not less than it is a lot. Yeah, but don't call it everything. Call it's it not all everything. the toppings. It would have raisins and shit if it was everything. You know, yeah. it's yeah. not. Yeah, this is my new everything. You know, bagel what also is like we. It's good. I like it. It's it needs. I can help you massage the dough a little bit. Uh, if somebody just put salt on bread. Uh-huh. People would think they were a psycho. But yeah, just they on were the what? bagel, the it's fine. Why do like we like a snail? Hmm. Yeah, like if I if you guys came over and was like, hey, I'm making dinner. Your appetizer is white bread with kosher salt. Yeah, It'd be disgusting. Mm-hmm. But I go, yes. I, go, I wouldn't serve a salt bagel as an appetizer too. I no, gotta it's, tell you it's guys, a, it's I a very weird phenomenon. Is, phenomenon. I, miss, not I think I would like table. it. I gotta be honest. I think I would like it. Like if you put, if you dip a piece of bread in some like buttery salt, I think that's, I think that's a great flavor, and you're gonna have a good time. Mm. Tom, I heard you're working on a bit about the Citizen app. <laughs> Tom, I heard you like the Citizen app. Now, here's the thing about the Citizen app. Do you guys have the Citizen app? I do. Um, I did. I took it off. My I phone. probably should take it off. The problem is, I do think. Sometimes it just scares me because there's a lot of shootings around here. And uh, oh, good shots fired during. <laughs> Sometimes they're just the, the the headlines. I don't know who names the like what the calls are, but sometimes they're so dramatic because it makes me laugh. Like this one just popped up, but it says shots fired during stabbing in <laughs> Southeast. <laughs> it's like, I think the stabbing is the headline during that one. <laughs> But Somebody was like, sure. I got stabbed. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh, no. Shots fired. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then oh, <laughs> this one, it just says 50 people fighting. <laughs> <laughs> like, who counted? Like, <laughs> one, <laughs> two, <laughs> and then called it. Excuse, uh, officer, there are uh, 40. No, that's 50. There's 50 people <laughs> fighting. Uh, but the, that's the, I can't even count the amount of if, I, if I if we get down there and there's 37 people fighting, we're gonna be really annoyed. We're just gonna we're gonna come arrest you for lying. <laughs> <laughs> but every day I get a notification. Man on my phone lying. That, that's one of the crimes. <laughs> man, man lying. Lies. To cops. Yeah. Man with pants on fire, figuratively. <laughs> yeah. The. Uh, <laughs> The one that makes me laugh the most, though, is every day I get one on my uh, on my phone. That's it's basically the same one as that last one, but it's more vague. And it just says "group of men fighting." And uh-huh. it's, it's just funny to picture just a bunch of guys because I imagine like they have matching them. outfits or something. Mm-hmm. I, it yeah. feels like sharks and sharks and jets or whatever. Uh, it's yeah. just a funny, yeah. And then a lot of them are yeah. just uh, it'll say like odor it says odor of gas and i like to think it's just uh i know what it is it's it's scary to have a gas odor in your house but i look i love to think of it it's just a guy who farted really bad. oh oh when well, no, no one saw that where that was gonna go <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't right. that be fun if it's just a guy <laughs> farts so bad they call the cops and report it on citizen app pretty good time i uh i had to pretty explain a idea I, I've called my brother today because we kind of like have this. Uh, we sort of like got this idea for a pilot because it's about a family. Because I called my grandmother a whore on Twitter, and then my uncle got upset. So we we thought we we could write. So I so I talked to my I talked to my brother. <laughs> I talked to my brother for like an hour today about this pilot that we might write. This is your this is your idea for a pilot. <laughs> is, is that you All right, well, a whore? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Put me in the room. I have an elevator pitch for you. <laughs> like three, Give three girls from Westchester. Give me five minutes with Spielberg on heaven, <laughs> eating out of the palm of my hand. I'm like, I'm like Jack. Now, John, John, look, I'm telling you, it's going to be a hit, a hit show. It's That's a- going to pop up on my Citizen app. Crazed man in Fox building. <laughs> Is he called Grandma Whore? <laughs> Man kicked out of Netflix building for saying his grandmother was a whore. Anyway, all right, all right, that's over. Forget about my when fucking left, stupid. Said, if you I don't, don't even want to talk about my business. stupid. Come I don't on. even want to talk about my stupid drink. pilot tell now. Tell, tell us about oh, your. Tell no, it I don't want to talk. Good. Tell us about your grandmother. No, it's just funny whore. because. No, it's just funny because. 
we got this, we had this idea for this pilot. So we were like, maybe let's like get on the phone and talk about, you know, whatever. And then I had to like explain, I explained the show to, to Deb today. Cause she was like, Oh, you were talking to your brother. And I, so I started explaining the show and I'm like, Oh, I don't think there's like anything here, but you know, to talk about the TV show when you, when you go to go from like the TV show in your head to like, to like verbalizing it, it's, it's just, you go like, yeah. So it's like about like two brothers and you know, we're going to probably just keep writing and keep working on it. And then we'll probably just riff our way through the whole sitcom. <laughs> yeah. It's about a cat and a dog and they're conjoined twins. And I don't fucking. Dude, you know. can I, did I ever tell you the story? I met uh, this guy who worked for Nickelodeon and he's the guy who made the SpongeBob storyboards. That was like uh-huh. his whole story. And he told me, he was like, do you, he goes, do you remember cat dog? And I just, you know, out of nostalgia, I was like, yeah, I loved cat dog. And he goes, you were the only one then, man. Because here's what happened. He goes, when SpongeBob got ordered. I love, I love, here's what happened. He goes, he was so bitter about it. It was so funny. He goes, here's what happened the day the cat dog got picked up. Is uh, the same, in the same like group of pitches, it was SpongeBob and cat dog. Uh And cat dog immediately got ordered for a hundred episodes just based on the name. Yeah. They were like, oh, it's a cat and dog. Where is it poop out of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a There was someone episode. else who pitched a show called Beaver Bird, and they got like <laughs> it never happened for him. And they just yeah, work at Whole Foods ended up now. On pop. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they apparently only ordered like thirteen episodes of SpongeBob. They were like, "That sounds weird. We don't know about that." And then SpongeBob becomes their greatest hit of all time, and they had to have a hundred episodes of Cat Dog <laughs> that just sucks shit. <laughs> the cat Cat Dog was pretty popular, wasn't it? I don't think it was, I mean, it was just on a lot, but in the draw, I liked the drawing style, but if yeah. you think of, I don't remember any of the show, whereas SpongeBob is like iconic, like kids now yeah, still yeah, love yeah. it. It's yeah. the most memed thing. It's, it's, I mean, SpongeBob yeah, is just a great every, You yeah. see something, you kind of almost see something SpongeBob every day in your mm-hmm. life. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's how, yeah. Here's that story that had that story, like this guy, I, these two writers were dating and this was like years ago. I can't remember who it was. I heard this story on a podcast, but he was like, I wrote this pilot and she had a pilot up and um, we we're like, I was like, mine's uh, going to get picked up. Let me guess they bought the woman's hers pilot. Like, yeah, but her, his was like, his didn't get picked up and hers was Malcolm in the middle. Yeah. So uh, it was yeah. like a massive hit. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know what, what I'd say yes. that guy? His was just called uh, Chinese let Malcolm me guess. in the middle. My grandma, let me guess, your grandmother's a whore. <laughs> that was, I, I, I'll tell you the pitch that that lady gave. Okay, it's a family, but get this, the mom is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, the guy just wrote a show called Dominican Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> just didn't get that. Manuel. Yeah. Manuel yeah. in the middle. Yeah. So basically, like, you know, I got these crazy brothers and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. My mom is a yeah. I don't know. You know, Re- my brother Reese. My is crazy. His name is still Reese. Yeah, he doesn't slightly. change any of the other names. <laughs> and then, uh, and then Breaking Bad. Yeah. Oh fuck. God, Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Speaking of, uh, anyway, Shane, have you ever, uh, this is what I want to ask you before. Have you ever witnessed a crime? Uh, yes. Plenty. Okay. Because I have, I've witnessed one once. <laughs> Byron Allen just setting himself up <laughs> in his bits. <laughs> that's a great, that's a good show. That. You never want to explain this podcast to me at all. No, because we I should, we should I'm tell sorry. people who Byron Allen is, maybe because now it's the second reference. <laughs> a, Byron Allen was a comics TV, is a TV show host who uh, who he awkwardly sets people up for and tries to pretend he's having a natural conversation, but he just sets you up for your bit by your saying bits. very direct things. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like a panel. And then he uh, and now he owns the Weather Channel. Yeah, he's like the richest. <clears throat> he's like the richest comedian of all time. Imagine, imagine Byron Allen doing like yeah. one of those panel shows in Brooklyn, and he goes, "So, Justin, I heard you got molested." <laughs> and it's just everybody. <laughs> That's everybody. <laughs> um. 
Anyway, boys, I want to tell you a little story because, uh, well, here's something I want to talk about. This is this. I wanted to intro the show with this. Do you? No, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'll, I'll do it next episode. What the hell? <laughs> no, the, all right. So the what point is. is all right. So the point is like when people, when people, uh, the whole concept of like social media justice, you know, when people, when somebody wrongs you and you go, I'm putting this on Facebook and Twitter, and then you put it on Twitter and it goes nowhere. Mm-hmm. That's, that's like very funny to me. I've been seeing that a lot lately. And I think it's like <laughs> such a bad, it's such a bad look, you know? Do you mean when, like when a company wrongs you and you're like, I'm going to, I'm going to yeah. post about American airlines fucking me over. Yeah. But even that, or even if, it, it, but, but even if it's like a legitimate like grievance that you have, oh yeah, it's still pathetic looking like it's pathetic. And I saw somebody like this girl <laughs> I saw on social media this week, this girl like rescued a cat and then the person from the cat rescue agency like called her a cunt. And it's just like, yeah, but okay, but even if that person was like a hundred percent in the wrong, like why would you why would you want that? Yeah. Why do you want that attached to you? Let that story die because yeah. uh that uh that sucks. Oh shit, Mike, you had to upgrade your thing. I, I have a, a an account. I could have I could have used it to start this thing. I do too, what? yeah. For a Zoom, oh, it really? just gave a, a notification that uh that you had to upgrade the meeting. Did it do it for free at least? um i don't know i didn't see it thanks for catching that yeah for sure i mean i yeah i have i had to buy I'm over it here because... using free zoom this well if like... you have if you have more than two people they make you uh they cut it at 45 minutes and then you gotta you gotta re-up you gotta restart okay very stupid but also it worked because i give them 15 dollars a month for it yeah, yeah. There's enough companies that I'm paying fifteen dollars a month. I can't pay I can't pay anyone else fifteen dollars a month. That is like that's the new nickel and diming. Yeah. It's like getting fifteen dollar a month. Yeah. Yeah. And, then and the one that I'm gonna cut is dental insurance. I have I'm paying yeah, fifteen dollars yeah, yeah. a month for dental insurance. I can't I cannot figure out how to use it. And it's I've been doing it for a year and a half. I've only tried it once and they <laughs> were like, Yeah, actually your insurance doesn't cover what we're gonna do. So Yeah. And it was a cleaning. So I don't know what else to do. I pay five dollars a month to be able to send invoices to people. Like to what send- are you talking about? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, there's a website called like Invoice yeah, Home a- or something. It's you can just write service. those. Yeah. You can just do you those can. on pages. Yeah. Yeah, but you want like yeah. I need it to look like an invoice sometimes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> when somebody else is getting billed for like a moving job or a garbage I job. See. Yeah. You know? All right. So get one, download one template for an invoice. All right. I don't know why you have to yell at me. You to, that, <laughs> that is good advice, but you're like oh, uh, no, you're like my wife. Coming out. You're like my wife giving me good advice, but in a in a negative tone. How am I yelling? Hey, you got a little loud. <laughs> yeah, evil. You're Shane like my. We already say you're out. like my wife. You've been married like three months, and you're like my wife. You don't even give her her name anymore. You fucking prick. Oh, see, there it is. Evil Shane coming out. Yep. Yep. What? We're nice on this show. I Shane. guess there's an evil what? Shane in everybody, you know? <laughs> even <laughs> even Especially even Shane. the nicest people that you know, there's an evil Shane in there deep down. <laughs> All right, so what are we going to do? Is this going to like cut out the um is this going to stop the meeting? Tom and I are supposed to spend Christmas Eve together. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Shane is Are you? Uh, we're supposed to. We'll see. I mean, yeah. Christmas might be taken by the Grinch, aka COVID. Yeah. Um, Shane is totally frozen now. No, it's not going to cut off because it I'm said sorry, that you extended it. the meeting. Oh, okay. So I think we're good. All right, I that's good. good. Um, but yeah, you. Whenever it's three people, but I okay. gotta tell you, I think three is the number, man. Three is the magic I, this number. Is fun. Yeah. It's the sweet spot I'm for sure. A good time. Yeah, me too. Um, Shane, are you are you alive over there? I'm fine. I'm just hanging out, listening to YouTube. Fucking babble. Look, um, Shane, we'll have you back on. We'll have you back on with. What are we uh, talking about? We'll bring your. We'll bring all your exes to figure out the. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I don't. I don't even. This show is like. I no, honestly feel like I got hit in the back of the head and I'm just waking up and I have no idea what's well, going on. Well, now you know how I felt on that basketball court, Shane. Exactly. 
I feel bad about that. <laughs> you gonna hold it over my head forever? Hey, it's gonna stay in my head. You just forever. slammed a basketball into an innocent man's head. That's right, an innocent half Indian man. Thank you very much. Hate crime. <laughs> a half hate crime. <laughs> I hated half. No, I, I hit the side. <laughs> I hit. I hit the side that was white. I hit the side that was white. Um. Uh, oh God. What are you guys drinking? I got a little whiskey. I I switched to whiskey because it was easier. I was. I had a little Negroni earlier. I was going to take this week off of uh, drinking, but it's been a very stressful time, and so I'm going to have some yeah. whiskey. Two of your podcasts got taken away. That's right. I take, <laughs> I take a drink for every podcast that gets taken away from me. Yeah. Um, do you guys deal with any of? Uh, well, Shane, you're you're a single man, right? Yeah. Because I was going to say <laughs> yes. <laughs> every once in a while, Deborah will get into a fight on social media, and I feel like I have to do something <laughs> about it. <laughs> so you call your grandmother a whore? <laughs> yeah that's yeah why do you think yeah i was defending my wife's honor um anyway but uh one thing that's kind of funny is deb has a friend named maria and uh apparently there's a, so so deb is very active in the uh slp speech language pathologist community so deb okay. so there's a there's a there's an account and it's called uh it's called slps of color it's run by a few different uh slps uh, uh who are women of color and uh they're pretty big on sort of like um calling people out for stuff like they're kind of like they're like oh you know if you do this and this they're they're not they're not shy about you know calling people out for stuff for 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 racial uh microaggressions or whatever it is and uh deb has a friend maria and uh so 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 slps of color made this post where they were like think about the kind of masks that you're wearing for covid because if you're wearing a black mask with lips on it that's blackface and then like deb goes to maria's um page and she's like going like this like she's doing the peace sign with like a half black mask with big red lips and apparently they were saying that like that's blackface um so maria so that's that's how i'm setting up maria did that make sense we need to be in studio together i think yes um, i mean she's she's uh no, you know um she also listens to the that, show that, that's real yeah, they were they were trying to say that a, a that mask that she was wearing was blackface. So, so Deb thought it was really funny that like she goes on the Maria's page and she's wearing what 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 they were saying was blackface. But I did see okay, another yeah. one of Maria's posts today, her Instagram post, and I want to read it to you guys because it's very funny. <laughs> and she goes, <laughs> she goes, uh, she goes. In what ways has COVID positively impacted your life? Well, it got me out of my comfort zone by starting to hashtag rollerblade again. Makes me feel like a kid again. Also, my dog enjoys it with us. Any new hobbies you picked up or hobbies you felt you were, quote, too old or too busy to do? And uh, I, thought that was, I thought that was just a very perfectly worded uh, post. <laughs> that's, that's a nice post. I like that. I think it's a good question, too. Yeah. Frankly. Have you guys gotten any new ones? All right, I thought that segment was going to go better. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't be preparing. So I much. have to be honest. I got uh, I, I got a stressful call during it, and so uh, I got distracted. But um, you got a what? I got a stressful email that I that I can't even get into. A stressful time. email? You can't get yeah, into so it. Yeah, so I I, I can't, can't read it to us. No, oh, I bet no, me and Torres it's... can guess what it is. Oh, is that right? Yeah. All right, guess it. Uh, dear Tom, it's your dad. I'm back from the dead. <laughs> I am a, oh, I am shit. a zombie. <laughs> was I, did I accidentally flash it on the screen? Yeah, that was exactly. It. <laughs> you shared your screen. You did share your screen. Yeah. Tom, your biggest fear has come to life. <laughs> Not that zombies are real, but that your own father could be one. <laughs> You'd finally have to face me like a man. I'm starting a podcast. <laughs> Comedy Central gave. Gave your zombie father uh, your podcast. <laughs> I've heard your jokes about me. Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shane. Like what do you think, much. Tom's? <laughs> All right, that's enough, Tom. What do you, Shane? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think, Tom's email said? 
Oh, jeez. I, <laughs> I, you stole mine. That's the one I was going to say. Yeah. Okay. I was the same thing. Yeah. I just, uh, I really had no idea what I was in for when <laughs> I said I would do this podcast. <laughs> I know we we bumped the show up four hours. We could have you on, but I, I gotta tell you, can I ask? Is, I, I want to go. Go ahead. I gotta ask. So the SLP thing, and then yeah. you. What was the point of that? Of what? Like, um, oh, here we the go. The black mask. What? You're always undermining <laughs> me. <laughs> I just wanted to tell us. It was just a funny thing that happened to me. I guess. Like, I, was I to, just. I like, oh, I get that the only connection is you know like a lot of shows they'll be like oh well then they did this so this seems like they might actually be this kind of racist person mm-hmm. and then you just told, read us a story about her rollerblading yeah because it because I, I was understand. trying to set up the character I was trying to like mm-hmm. introduce the character because you want this to be a recurring thing like this is I wanted to be a recurring thing nice. where, where why am read. I I don't even know what I'm you're doing. right. Doing. I think it's because you're. I feel frozen. like I'm ruining so, this whole podcast. Yeah, so your, cold, your connection's real. Your connection's frozen. bad. Yeah, it's your connection is bad, and uh, disrespectful, frankly, uh, for you to show up with such a connection um, to a podcast with as illustrious as this one. I think that's the right. Imagine way. Byron Allen setting awful. up Shane for a for a bit, and he goes, "So Shane, I heard you think that everything bagel <laughs> should cost more," <laughs> and and he's just like, uh, "Yeah." Yeah, that's kind of yeah, that's the bit. <laughs> he just does the whole bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that is fun. Byron Allen doing the whole the your entire bit to you, and you're like you're just like yeah. And he goes okay, cool. <laughs> he just moves on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're like yep, that's my joke. Um, okay, well, I ask people for like relationship questions, but I don't know if we're gonna have time to get into that. Okay. Today. Yeah, we're flying. We're flying through sure. this one. We could. What, um, what do you want to do next? We could, I mean, we probably have time. I want to. I big rush. I mean, I want to. I want to know what's going on with uh, Shane. Okay. What What do you want to know? You what are you What you are you doing? In, what question. Do you, no. What have you been? How's your How's your uh, lockdown been? Have you uh, learning any new hobbies? Did you learn how to rollerblade? <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm saying. It was a good question. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the phrasing was so funny because she's like, how has COVID positively impacted your life? You know how we're going to have 300,000 dead people? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Because I wrote I under that, nice I, said, I said, I lost three family members, but I learned how to make bread. <laughs> and then dead There you go. Out. That's the payoff. There it is. Yeah. All right. That's the payoff? Oh, God, That's the dude. payoff. All right, Shane. Uh, All right, yeah, Shane. Shane. What are you what, watching? What are you here's some que- here's some thunder round questions for you. Why are men so awful? Um, no, some thunder round <laughs> questions. <laughs> That's thunder. a question on uh, what's her name show. Janet, Have you done that show? I've done it three times. <laughs> I actually Wait. enjoy doing that show. I do too. I uh, yeah, that's it. What is it? We should give it a plug. Shout out to shout about. out to dude Janet talks to Hyde, a lady right? with Janet Hyde. What? Yeah, yeah. I just say I was just saying her name, Janet Hyde. Yeah. I. Um, what did you say to it when she asked you? I said, um, yeah, because I listened to your episode. Because that's like that's like not that show isn't in my. It's not in my regular rotation. But if I have like a road trip, that's one of my go to shows that I listen sure. to because it's short and it's good. What, Janet. Dude talks to a lady with Janet Hyde. Yeah, I thought it was a trap, and then doing yeah. it, I, I was fun. Yeah. What I mean, she just like asks you questions about masculinity and stuff, or what? Yeah, she'll like have you do a bit. She she interviews male yeah. comedians about their bits. About and it has it's like a bit about dating or women or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's, you got you do your bit though, so it's it's kind of like what we expected you to do when you came on today. Yeah, but, but you refuse uh, to do the Guy Fieri bit because you think you're better than us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to share the wealth, <laughs> you don't wanna, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got this sweet gold ticket that you won't share with us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if Shane's not going to do his Guy Fieri bit, maybe we should just end the show. (laughs) I I don't know what is... (laughs) Such a slap in the face, I don't think we can even recover from. 
Yeah. This does sound like it's an interview coming from jail. I don't know if the Zoom, <laughs> the Zoom with three people, it's, uh, it's fine. It's good, you know? I, I think it's my internet connection has been off. Yeah. Oh, we're upgrading. I'm sorry. I didn't think it would be this bad. I That's apologize. okay. It's, That's okay. It's a little embarrassing. You know what? We've lost funny. listeners <laughs> every single week for the past two years, so I don't think this week will be any different. Two years. <laughs> If I lose another 200 listeners, it's not your fault. It's not anybody's fault. What matters is we all had a good time talking about the Citizen app. I mean, I, who would have thought that what a gift we were given with 50 men fighting? <laughs> I, had to call it, I had to call the cops once because I was walking home for, uh, in Bushwick one time, and this guy had his girlfriend like pinned on the ground. Jesus. Yeah, and I and I walked by and I was like, shit. But she didn't seem like she was like distressed. Like she wasn't like, oh my god, help me. She was mm. just she was just going like, get off of me. She was like, get off. Like yeah. she was annoyed with him. Like like it's what he does. Mm-hmm. But I like <laughs> went back inside the house. I went back inside the house. I called the cops and then I like went back out. But I grabbed I grabbed my dog and a pair of pliers and like a kitchen knife, which is I don't know what I thought I was gonna do. Pliers I have my no idea. kitchen it- knife. What? That seems we had a stab him and then pliers his balls or something. That's too many. What? Yeah, I feel like you only need one of those. I brought my shop. If back. you weren't white, that is the very kind of thing that would have got you killed by a cop. Like mm. if you weren't white. Yeah, those yeah, three yeah. Things. Right, right, right. They end up killing me, and they're yeah. like, "Sir, do you need help pinning your wife to the?" <laughs> if it was a white guy, <laughs> do you need help controlling this woman? Um. But anyway, so. I, I guess so I, so I did a joke about this on stage where I was where I was kind of like, you know, I wasn't I was worried, but like not worried. Oh, hold that on, I was gonna get hold hurt. on. What? Hold on. What? Finish the story. What happened? The story? The story is that I grabbed my dog. Yeah, you walk and a outside pliers, with a knife and a pair. And a pair of pliers yeah. and my dog. Okay. And was he yeah. still there? And he was still there and he had his girlfriend pinned on the ground. And it, I was I was just like, this is just kind of awkward, you know, because I was kind of <laughs> I was like worried that I might like get scared and like say something racist. Like I would be like, what are you doing there, homeboy? And they're both just like homeboy. <laughs> and like we think you should leave. <laughs> Why don't you mind your business anyway? That's perfect. That's the that's the perfect level of racism for the for, for what you'd be afraid of because not you're gonna say it's something like truly racist, but homeboy is just racist enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like ah. Eh. Um, Looks yeah, like they don't... squeezed the lime in this drink for me. <laughs> that's like. Yeah, we don't say homeboy anymore. <laughs> yeah, that one's gone. That one's gone. Um. Ooh. Man, what a time. All right, you guys want to answer one relationship question? Yeah, I want to hear these relationship questions. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been dying to hear yeah. these. This is a good one. I think you guys will be good. I think you guys will be good be, for this question. I want to hear it. Says, Sorry, I interrupted Shane. What, what were you going to say? All right, this guy wrote, writes in. I told him I would keep him anonymous, but his name was Michael something. Um, he goes, uh, hey, Mike, huge fan of you. Huge, huge fan. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Huge fan of the show and you and Deb. Thank you very much. I'll keep it short and sweet. Is it wrong for me to want to hold off on a potentially painful breakup until after the holidays? If not, how long after the holidays do I wait? Uh, You guys are the best. Um, Your show has stopped me from killing myself multiple times. Uh, I wish I could come to your house and wait on you like a butler. I'll do it for free. Uh, Wishing you the best this Christmas season. So this is kind of a good... This is kind of a good question. It's a great question. Great yeah. question. Yeah. And I I think, hey, brother, uh, break up with her on Christmas Day. That's your <laughs> present to you. Yeah. You know? You got to yeah. do something for yourself uh, on a Christmas it's like, like It's like when you can open one present Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> That's your present. <laughs> so you, here's what you do. On Christmas Eve, a your present to you is you, you start a big fight. And then yeah. Christmas Day is when you're like, here's the big gift. It's actually a full breakup. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah that, that, that gift is like the car with the bow on top of it. <laughs> That's what you do. You get her a big. You get you get her a big car with a bow. You get her a giant. You get her a giant bow. 
and then yeah and you put yeah. it over a, a really mean card <laughs> or it's like a tent that you this like, you're, this thing's like i don't think we belong together your whole family's white trash and you make her <laughs> read it aloud at dinner before yeah I think uh, you, yeah, it's a it's a bow over a giant car, but it's a rental car in her name, and mm-hmm. you say you <laughs> have to credit card and this to the airport, <laughs> and you put and you put three thousand miles on it just the night before. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get it. Out you of key here. it, but you don't get the yeah. insurance. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You just leave it parked in a bad neighborhood, and it gets graffitied to shit. <laughs> <laughs> just, just there's a million tags on it. There's, there's tags that say like peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> it has uh, a donut. You blew the tire. Yeah. yeah. In in all yeah. seriousness, I think give it till January. Why you think? Not? Well, I it's know. already. You know what? We're far enough away from it that uh, if you can if you can find it in yourself to do it now. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, it's December 9th right now. So, uh if, if this comes out this week, you know, do it if you did it within a week, I think you're good. Once yeah. it gets to be Yeah, it's it's pre holidays. You're far stuff. enough from the holidays where she'll probably yeah. recover if you do it now, if you bite the yeah. bullet and do it now, she'll probably meet a new guy, you know? Sure. She'll meet a yeah. new guy who fucks better than you and she connects with better. Yeah, she'll if forget you know all anybody, about you. Here's, if you want to soften the blow, just uh, this is what, and this is what I've done in the past is you break up with somebody and then you go, Hey, I know this is tough, but then you open your bedroom door and your buddy who's like got a huge dick is there and he's hard already. And you go, <laughs> yeah. This is, but here's, I got this for you. And he's ready to go. And he's always yeah. wanted to bang you. I can see him looking at you. <clears throat> and yeah. then, and then she's happy. Mm-hmm. And you know you're like, hey, don't mind me in the corner over here. And then he dies uh, from a blue chew overdose. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> and I've done that before, and it's I've only I've only found success. Yeah. Are you guys still friends, or do you talk? <laughs> oh, he's dead from that blue chew overdose. <laughs> oh, I was talking about your ex, since you got her such a nice parting gift. Uh, see, it was a tragedy because she also, uh, the blue chew overdose also infected her. So, uh, yeah, thanks for bringing it up, Shane, but, uh, they're both dead. <laughs> um, lost everybody in that one, but you know, by Christmas I was fine. Well, maybe you should bite the bullet and do it now because that, that the week between Christmas and new year's is like the best, that's the best week of the whole year. So you don't want to, and also you, you know, well, I think that, that also gives somebody the opportunity to like, be like, all right, I'm going to get laid on New Year's. Right. You know, like, or whatever. Right. You know, like, because that's such a weird. Yeah, they're going to. I'm going to get laid on get Boxing Day, <laughs> Canadian Boxing Day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, let me get my back get, blown out. I'll get fucked after the epiphany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, dude, in all reality, I, as good, I'm sure, of an, as an actor you are and all this, people can feel it. People yeah. can feel it when you're not, when you're not really in it anymore. And, uh, you're only doing your both of yourselves a disservice the longer you stay in it. I've stayed in it before and I regret it. And uh, I look also, at pictures you, you of myself caught, in that time and I look sad. Like you, like the holidays can catch emotional. Yeah. yeah. Also, this holiday series like isn't even the same as most. It's not even the real holidays. So you're. Not, I think. Uh, don't don't put yeah, it. Yeah, unless this guy yeah, don't just off. doesn't want to be alone. He's like going to be with a a woman he doesn't love mm-hmm. anymore in her family because he doesn't mm-hmm. want to be alone on Christmas. Right. Again, he's afraid he'll kill his parents if he shows up as a surprise. Uh, it. Right. Maybe it's more about you. Just sit. Here's what you got to do for Christmas: sit sit home alone and play 2K and listen to this podcast and uh, have loop. a nice little time. Get yourself a bottle of nice bourbon and uh, and enjoy it. Cause dudes rock and uh, you're going to have a good time. That's right. Dudes rock. Well, I guess we have to wrap up. That's uh that's the show. Dudes but, uh, rock. What's dudes rock. Oh, you don't know. Is that the name of this podcast? Is that the name you're of not the familiar podcast? with the dudes rock movement. You don't know about the movement of dudes <laughs> rocking. <laughs> Cause it's been going on for a God. long time. For a long time. <laughs> Ever heard of the Beatles? <laughs> They're dudes who rock. <laughs> The first dude to ever rock was Christopher Columbus. 
he still he sailed the ocean blue chew. And he, um, <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, Shane, any final thought? Anything you'd like to plug? Anything? I don't know. Any- uh, no, I don't know what happened. All right. Well. This was, this I was had fun. like no idea what this podcast was, but if I had to guess, just, it probably would have been something like this. It's just dudes being dudes. It was fun. Yeah, that's right. I laughed rocking. a lot. Yeah. Okay. Can I come back? Yes, absolutely. Cool. You should have seen it last week. It was just, it was just Tom and I commiserating about our uh, misfortune. Mm-hmm. This is why we need a third. I, and it t- We've it never been retweeted by Pat and Oswald. <laughs> It sucks that it took until the the fourth episode to figure out if we have a third, we have a third mic really cooking. Yeah, it, it gives us something to to take away from us just bitching about uh, the world mm-hmm. of comedy or just the world in general. For sure. All right, well, guys, um, Tom doesn't have three podcasts anymore. He has one, but check out his other podcast, Stand By Your Band, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Guys, you know the drill. If you got a big pile of garbage you need picked up, call Mike. <laughs> call Mike Junk Removal. Shoot me an email. Actually, I do have an email for the moving company. It's called truckboysmoving at gmail.com. That's truckboys with a Z. Truckboysmoving at gmail.com. I don't have a Google review page, so do not go to the Google review page and leave a review. Do not leave fraudulent reviews for my company. This is how I'm going to feed my family. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Just uh, anyway, but if you can support the show on Patreon, patreon.com slash sit down pod. And uh, I guess I'm going to end the meeting. So I'm going to end the meeting. Boys, thank you for being here. This is a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see you next time on the sit down. Good night. Goodbye. See God you bless. Boys. See you later. Bye. Great hang. Later. Jesus Good hang. Christ.